so you probably would have been talking. Because <clears throat> literally every time I'm talking to the camera, Kid, I think I'm talking to her. But this is going to be a get ready with me chit chat. Just kind of about some things that's going to be going on in 2018. Um... No one really specifically asked me these questions. Um, I think I more so just gathered them from, <clears throat> you know how you take those stupid like quizzes on Facebook and they're like telling you like <clears throat> this is going to happen in 2018 or you know whatever year you're going into and I'm like lots and alibis. So it wasn't a quiz but it was one of those or it was like a word search and um <clears throat> the word search was just all wrong so it was one of the word searches where it pretty much said like the, the first three words you see will be your 2018 you know what will be what will happen in 2018 so my first three words I seen were Marriage was first. Kids, more kids was second. So it didn't say more kids, but it said baby, and I already have a baby. So in my eyes, I was like more. <clears throat> and then it said, um, what's the other one? Was it wealth? I think it was wealth. Yeah. So it was marriage, baby, and wealth. <clears throat> Now, you guys know that literally sounds like the perfect year. Like, hello, can we say Cardi year? <laughs> so <clears throat> it just made it just made me think though, and like kind of got me the thinking about you know 2018. It's clearly around the corner, so I was like, it's perfect, you know, to do a video about you know just 2018 and. What I expect from it and my, you know, goals, I guess you could say, of 2018. So, first I'm going to go off of that dang on word search. And the first thing in the word search, like I told you guys, marriage. So, I'm starting to see that with my generation, I feel like marriage is... <clears throat> kind of like the ultimate goal which I completely get that's everyone's ultimate goal but what angers me about my generation is that I feel like they're kind of like okay marriage is the ultimate goal but at any cost so you know personally for me I just feel like I see so many like young women who you know <clears throat> they're kind of like I'll take anything like literally anything if that means that marriage is gonna be my end goal and I'm sorry like, I'm just not like that you know I feel like they they don't give themselves time to really you know see if this is where they're supposed to be you know it's like no actually I just want to ring and I feel like <clears throat> we're the generation of you know social media so of course you want that you know to show off and all that kind of stuff and I get it <clears throat> but you know at what at what cost are you gonna take back you know like your life I guess you can say like at what cost is it going to be more about like you and your happiness and not so much just like oh I'm getting a ring so <clears throat> that's just something I've kind of like really picked up on on at, you know from my generation and um you know I just I, I feel like Yes, marriage should be the end goal, but I feel like you also should be thinking about other things like, you know, are you thinking of marriage for the right reasons? You know, have you guys had counseling? Have you, you know, it's just, it's a lot more that just comes with just marriage. And I feel like with my generation and, you know, 
having babies and whatnot. One second. Okay, so of course, you know, that's the end goal. Like, of course, I want to be married just like any other, you know, woman. But you just have to... You just have to be patient, you know, and I feel like it's all about timing and it's all about, you know, your time. And so to answer my question, I guess my own question and own um, <laughs> word search reveal, I don't, I, I don't really see myself getting married in 2018. Um... You know, I like the pace that we're going at. I like the, you know, getting to know each other. And, you know, some people will be like, well, kind of late for that now. Like, y'all already have a baby. Okay. That's fine. We do already have a baby. But <laughs> I bet you we won't, you know, be one of those couples just down the road. Like, well... We're doing it for the kids, you know, and I feel like you've run into that so freaking much, so freaking much, and it's just, it's disheartening, um, so yeah, that's that on the, on the marriage tip, um, so then I told you guys, the next thing I seen was about more kids, um, yeah, it's a no for me, dog. <laughs> um, I, I, um, I love being a mom, but I've also learned with being a mom comes so much freaking transparency. You know, like you have to be really, 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 really real with yourself. And for me personally, um. I just don't exactly think I have the support system that I would want, um, you know, to bring another child into this world. So, um, yeah, that's really what it is. Um, I just don't really feel like I have, you know, the support system. I feel like, you know, maybe if I was at least closer to home, I would feel like, yeah, I can do this, you know, um, cause I mean, I feel like I used to be like, oh my gosh, I want to have this many kids, but I also think that, you know, of course you're gonna have a mind change once you actually become a freaking mother, you know, like, that kind of stuff is not gonna still be like, oh my gosh, I just want to be like, this a perfect home wife, you know, like stay at home moms a rock, and they do, <laughs> but it gets, it gets complicated, so, you know, um, I feel like it's a lot, and just for me personally, you know, I just, I think, you know, the one is gonna cut it for me, so that's really all I have to say about that and you know I do of course have people that ask me about it and that's really frustrating um I would honestly have to say that's one of the most frustrating things about being a, a unwed mother is that if you're not getting questions about when are you getting married, you're getting questions about when are you having more kids, and I'm just like, huh, that's a bit contradicting, but okay. So, yeah, that's annoying. It, it, you know, it's a lot of pressure. It makes you kind of feel like, am I doing something wrong? Like, you know, should I just jump into marriage? But, you know, luckily, for myself and you know I feel like also for Tyler I don't feel like either one of us is like the super listen to other people type so I feel like that's where we're winning so I'm gonna do my liner and stuff off of camera so I feel like maybe I do see wealth in my 2018 future um I do plan on going back to work in 2018 
I don't know when in 2018. I don't know what I exactly want to do. Um, I definitely don't want to do something that's time consuming as far as like, you know, when, when I'm, you know, like not at work, I'm still working, if that makes sense. Um, I just, I really don't want that. I really want, you know, when I'm off, I want it to be, I'm off. And that's my time with my family. I'm really big on, you know, when you're home with your family, you're home with your family. I don't think that work should really get in the middle of that. So, yeah, I definitely want something um, where I'm able to still be with my family and hang with my peeps. So, yeah, that's that. As far as YouTube, um, when I start back working, I definitely still want to be doing YouTube like I'm doing it now. So, YouTube's definitely like one of my outlets. So, you know, I feel like I don't want to, I don't want to stop because I'm back working. Because to be honest, it was such an outlet and such a positive outlet for me when I wasn't. So I definitely don't want to let that go. And also, like, even when I was working, like when I was working at Make a Wish, you guys are like day ones. <laughs> um, yeah, even when I was working at Make a Wish, even coming home and being able to record videos and, you know, record videos on the weekends it was just so relaxing and it was such like a escape from the real world and from work and you know like youtubers are seriously like my friends so yeah that's all i have to say about the wealth department now i will say in the new year and this only made me think about this because i said YouTube is my friends and it's like <laughs> god honest truth like YouTube is like my friends and where I live um so I will say in the new year I definitely do want to you know at least make one friend and that's really all I need I'm not really a friend frenzy type person you know like I really don't even trust people that well to just be out here having all these friends. So, that's not a problem. Um, it's not ex exactly a problem that I don't have friends. I just think I'm, I'm in a city where... I've never been in a city where I just don't really have any friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been in a city where, you know, I've had one. Or, you know, even when I was back home um well not home but in Ohio I went to college in Ohio so even when I was back in Ohio like I didn't have like a ton of friends in college but I had enough because I've never been like the frenzy type person but 2018 I definitely think it'll help I think it'll help with you know like even just some mom friends. That's really all I want. It's like a mom friend. Like, someone who has a little one, um, you know, kind of like in the same boat as me. I'm not saying they have to be in my exact position, you know. But just someone who gets it, who understands, that would be great. Um, And also just... You know, the fact that, like, I don't have any family here. Like, I'm not working right now, so I don't have any coworkers here. Um, so, yeah, I just, I think that would be really good. Um, and then, like, even more important than, like, friends, I literally need to find me, like, a, a, a play auntie, a play mama, a play grandma, like, I just need another, I just, I feel like everywhere I've lived, I've kind of always had someone like my mom, 
there, you know. So when I was in Arizona, I had um, my friend Dominique's mom. Shout out to Mama Melba. <laughs> um, so yeah, I had my friend Dominique's mom. And then let me blend this out. So yeah, I feel like when you have kind of like that mom figure, you know, of course it's not your mom, but when you have like that mom figure, I don't know, it just, it makes a place feel a little bit more like home. And, you know, I've always had like a mom figure, even when I was in Cleveland and I had my mom, I still have like another mom figure. Shout out to Mama Kelly! Um... And, you know, for me, that's sometimes tough to find because I'm really picky. I can't help it. Um, I'm really picky. And I really like, you know, for that mom figure to resemble traits of my mom, if that makes any sense. So, I don't know. My mom's just great. She's like freaking bomb.com. So, <sighs> I like for it to resemble traits of my mom and you know in the past and talking to my sister you know my sister has well you guys probably don't know also if you haven't checked out my sister tag so my sister is really like my first person I've ever had on my channel you guys know it's really just me over here but my sister was on my channel so I'll make sure to leave that video for you guys but my sister has kind of always lived away from home so the whole like you know finding friends and family away from home i feel like she's a lot better at it than me because you know even starting off just going away to college she went to new orleans and i was right in my parents backyard pretty much so um did I seriously not sit under my eye? Talking, running that mouth. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's always kind of been away from home. And I've always been, you know, the total opposite. Like, always at home. Bowling Green was two hours away from my parents. So, so I was kind of spoiled in a sense where, you know, I didn't really have to experience the being away. Where my sister, you know, since she did experience it... She was able to, you know, like, have, like, church aunties and all that good stuff, you know, that it's kind of a little more difficult for me to branch out and find because, you know, I feel like it's kind of always came to me in a sense. Like, I feel like I never had to go out and find it. And when it comes to friends, I'm not like that person, like girl you gotta go out and find friends like I don't know like I feel like you can go out and find them but I'm also just a really like um I actually like to make friends the you know natural kind of way I feel like those are the best friendships like me and my friend Dominique like we literally met through another friend but we kind of just clicked and from you know from that day we just kind of clicked and yeah, that's how you got jazz and bacon and eggs. But, you know, I feel like a lot of people, you're living in a new state, you have to go out and find friends. And I just don't even know what that means. Like, am I supposed to just go out and be like, hey, you want to be my friend? So, yeah, I'm just not that type that's going to be like, oh, yeah, like, Go out and find her. She's out there, my buddy. You know, I feel like it's really forced. Um, but I definitely do think, like, when it comes to like, you know, mother figures and stuff like that, I do think I need to have that, and that is like really important to me. So that will definitely be something, you know, that I'll be working on but um i hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know if you did please let me know if you like videos like this you know i feel like sometimes i can just get really wrapped up into the voiceovers and you know stuff like the 
the new YouTube stuff and I kind of forget like why I even fell in love with YouTube and why I love so many of the YouTubers that I love so definitely want to get back to that in the new year even if it means kind of lengthy videos like watch them at different times in the day but I hope you guys enjoyed this please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video bye